In this video, I'm going to go over how to reconnect to the transversus abdominis muscle in the side lying position, which is a pose in series two of the deep core reconnect method. If you have not already watched the video on positional basics and diaphragmatic breathing, I recommend watching those first, unless I've told you otherwise. Before we dive into that specifically, want to talk about connecting with the TA in a position where you can see me. And the main thing to know is try less hard. So what I'm going to tell you is I want you to completely let your belly relax and then you're going to gently draw your belly button in towards your spine. And as you do that, you want to make sure your belly button doesn't go up and in, your belly doesn't bulge out, or you don't breathe in as you pull your belly button in at the same time. You can exhale and pull your belly button in and then breathe in or inhale as you relax. That is slightly, breathing out as you pull in is slightly easier than completely pulling your belly button in independently. But ultimately you want to be able to do all the ways. Where I want you to feel this is central, all around the belly button. If it's just above or just below, it's, it is possible that the upper or lower fibers are dominating or there is excessive weakness in one side on the, in the upper or the lowers. Or if you feel it just on the side, it could be that your obliques are dominating or if you feel it in your back, it's possible that you're pulling from the back to the front rather than front to the back. So most effective cue that I have for people is try 100% less than you just did. And then I also suggest using a mirror so you can get that feedback visually because most people have never felt this isolated sensation before. So you're gonna set yourself up on your side Shoulders are stacked over one another, hips are stacked over one another, and your shoulders and hips are square, and you're rolled floor, forward slightly. Chest is open, none of this. So chest is open, neck is long, and you're in neutral spine from the crown of your head down to your tailbone. You're gonna let your belly hang, and then you're gonna gently draw your belly button in towards your spine. You're gonna hold five, four, three, two, one, and then you're gonna control back to the starting position. And then repeat. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you return back to the starting position. It is, I do suggest if you can to count out loud because counting out loud tells you a lot. If you find that your belly like is going in and out as you count, that's a sign that this area is weak. If you find that your voice changes and becomes like that, you know you are struggling and other things are trying to help. So uh, it's a progression that you can work on to continue to strengthen this. Uh, ways that I progress this is either longer hold times or we add movements like a hip movement or a shoulder movement. And then we can actually progress the position itself. But this is the first step of helping provide a stable foundation for things like leg lifts, hip rotations, or clamshells. Um, provides a stable base to do twists in this position so that you twist segmentally versus only in one vertebrae. I usually program anywhere from five to 20 reps per set and usually one to two rounds or one to two sets. If you have any questions about this, please comment below. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video.